fracture of the humerus that is upper arm bone. Fracture of humerus usually we consider them as fractures of the proximal end, fractures of shaft femur and fractures of the lower end. Second is fractures of shaft of humerus. In this again upper one third, middle lower one third because each has got its own problems. That is why you got to divide them into upper one third, middle one third and lower one third. And finally, fractures of distal end. Now, we will talk about fractures of the proximal end or head and neck of humerus. Here, you take this as humerus, it has got a neck of humerus like this or head of the humerus. This is neck, this is head. The simplest is the fractured neck of humerus without displacement. Sometimes it may be associated with head of the humerus fracture. It may be two part fracture like this or it may be a three part fracture or sometimes it will be four parts. It is again broken like this. Depending upon number of pieces we have got to decide what is to be done. So, whenever there is fracture of the proximal end, there is going to be swelling near the shoulder or fullness. It will be more like a full shoulder which is grown out of proportion to the normal shoulder. Two, patient naturally complain of pain and three, if you try to just move the shoulder, there is a noise crepitus that is because the crackling noise we get when the bony fragments rub against each other and they will be loss of movements. If displaced, manipulative reduction, manipulation and POP or ORIF that is open reduction and internal fixation. So, these are the two choices we are left with in displaced fractures. So, what are the things that contribute to the four part or three part fractures? Usually these three part and four part fractures occur either due to violent trauma or in case of elderly patients because of the gross osteoporosis. So, because the gross osteoporosis the fracture will not unite. So, that is why you have got to think of surgeries in case of these grossly displaced fractures usually we can attempt because most of the people are elderly patient they may not agree for surgery and sometimes they may not be fit for surgery also. So, an attempt can be made for manipulative reduction and application of POP and the most important thing is the immobilization should not be there for more than 3 to 4 weeks after that you have got to start early physiotherapy, but wherever is feasible better always to do a open reduction and internal fixation. The aim of the operation is to get anatomical reduction. What happens suppose there are fragments like this for different fragments and sometimes the shaft will become like this, it looks like this. So, here the most important thing is must see that this shaft become falls in line and these fragments all of them are in proper position. So, this is the attempt you must make in a open reduction. Then second part of the operation is rigid internal fixation. Most often in case of shoulder nowadays we are using locking compression plates. Here the plate it sits like this and then the screws in this, this is the plate. Through the plate there are several three or four holes sometimes even four screws can be applied. So, whatever you do here all these things are done under what is known as C arm control. As you are operating you will have to see them in this C arm and see that you get anatomical reduction of these fragments and locking compression plate is given 
for rigid fixation. So, you do these things rigid fixation is given and what is the post operative management? You mobilize for about 3 weeks and then start physiotherapy after 3 weeks. The idea is that the patient will be able to mobilize better with strict fragments being together sitting properly in their anatomical position and that is why we can start mobilization much early. The other alternative is if only one or two fragments are there put the fragment together in position like this and fix it up with what is known as K wire this wire is kept if necessary another wire like this. So, that this is kept in position K wires these are the two alternatives for keeping the fragments in position either a locking compression plate or K wires to keep them in position post operatively we keep the pouch for at least 3 weeks and then start physiotherapy.